ushaanza kulia hapo na lile unaona mama yako guy so um, i was like god is this how i am going to stay for the rest of the whole term mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, karibu sana. Kama wewe ni yule yule, endelea kwa yule yule. So today as you have seen from the title of the video, we are going to, I'm going to be telling you a story of how I was bullied in high school. I remember there's a video I was doing about I can't remember the exact video but I'm going to put if you see an eye around here, make sure you click on that video. The comment section everyone was like, "Ai, wewe si bali unaweza kuwa bullied. Wewe si bali unaweza kuwa bullied." Because everyone anaona na e confidence yangu, I can't be bullied. But by that time, I think that was part of me my growth and your confidence could come so i remember i had joined uh, form 1 oh that story is about um, suspension uh, suspension because of selling sweets so i remember i had joined school in 2020 2020 wow 2016 i think i remember 20 mtu high school 2015 so yeah i started in 2015 2014 no 2018 2017 2016 2015 2015 so i started my high school in 2015 and by that time i was so excited of joining a boarding school because me i knew boarding school is all about snacks kujibamba dini mafanki so i was so eager to i was so eager to go for those things so when i was joining high school my expectations were huko ju and then i didn't want to go to any school in nyanza or places outside Nairobi so nilikuwa na stress mamangu kila saa i'm like no mommy i don't want to go to schools in Kiri, uh, Kisumu and all that so i managed to get a school in Nairobi which was my girl school in Nairobi so i remember that day actually niliingia na time watu walikuwa naenda mid term so hiyo time ilikuwa like one two days to meet up nimekuja na vitu zangu so the first day you see what is happening as a form one watu wanakimbia na plates na spoons to the dining hall so i'm like i even do you should later kwa kwani watu wajui ku behave watu wa jeshimo ni shule because there was from a private school so nikasema with time nika adjust to that so imagine even i am not two days into the school that first night Spaces zili kwa zimeja cause every form 1 had enrolled and me got into school late. So I was put into a form 4 dorm. Like everyone was a form 4. So me was like ah I'll cop this. Me awezi nifanyia kitu. But by that time nilikuwa nasikia eh aki utateswa utafanywa nini nini but me though I didn't want to believe in that. So I remember that day the first time uh, the first that same same night I didn't me join. I was sleeping so I'm preparing my shoes na brush nini 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 and then hiyo place nilikuwa nimelala ilikuwa different like kulikuwa na lights on different places and then some form four just shouted where for one hakuna ku sneeze I'm like hakuna ku sneeze aje kwa nika they control my sneezing kama kama lazima u sneeze utarudi kwenu eh ushaanza kulia hapo na lile unaona mama yako guy so um, I was like god is this how I am going to stay for the rest of the whole term hiyo ilikuwa kionjo hata kwa tumeanza life bado so as week afika that girl came kwanza ni msichana mmoja tu alikuwa anapenda kunibuli she came to my bed and she was like kona kiwi eh sawa ni brush hizi viatu bro mimi last one kwa hiyo sijazoea kufanya hizo vitu alafu unakuja hapa kwanza kuniteta kuni kuniteta ah nikasema let me just do this cause na wewe msichana alikuwa huge so siko nataka maneno mingi so nikamrusha tu viatu zake and then akakuja umemeza ku brush sawa nipe toothpaste okay ni kaza kusema kwa ni jwali mbona mimi peke yangu si ndio afanyie watu wengine hivyo then nikasema okay acha nipe suitcase so i told you i joined two days to meet him that was day one day two nimekuja i love mimi nilikuwa it wasn't really two days it was like four cuz nakumbuka hadi nilipata time ya kufua i love mimi siku anga najua ufai kufua kila siku like kama skirt mimi niko na kufua skirt kila siku t-shirt na kufua kila siku yani everything i was doing at the same day so hiyo time nimefua everything alafu bag yangu nilikuwa nimeacha like mimi siku najua 
mtu anaweza ibale kutukiwa high school so nakumbuka the hiyo the first day when nimeingia nime class break time ikaacha pochi yangu ya doa po juu so the next time nime rudi break na rudi watu wa class wananichetesha when they mean mbaya na wewe alafu ukiibiwa hapo utasema sije mkambia kwa gay kwani nime do unaataje pochi yako mbele juu ya juu ya desk then i was like i mean see kama mjaiba mbona mnanishautia ati eh acha tuke kwa baba tungeiba ni vile wewe ni ni ukama nikasema okay sawa fine jioni kafika nimerudi wapi kwa place yangu ya kulala niende nioge ni refresh up for the evening classes he my dear friends <laughs> ushaibaki na nguo yako enye umevaa tu kwa mwili you don't have anything apart from your bed so mimi kufika hivi nimefika na nataka kwenda kwa bafu nafungua my suitcase nothing yani zero hata tissue hakuna hakuna kitu hata moja so nikarudi nikarudi nikore nikamwambia best yangu mwenye alikuwa yeye shule na tulikuwa the same tunaishi the same place so nikamwambia guy shali aki nimeibiwa na kufanya nini nini akaniambia go and report to the matron <laughs> matron mwenye hata she was the worst acha wewe unaacha vitu zako aje nini nini ulikuja ali nikamwambia jana aya sawa acha tutatafuta so i had to borrow clothes for the rest of that time until we went home so on the last day ya kuenda kwa nyumba ya kurudia kurudi sasa breaking for mid term mm-hmm. mama sibel mama nan mama sibel the crazy african woman who I love and respect so much. So I mean kujia tunaenda home. So hiyo time nilikuwa nimeshajust nimepewa manguo nini but what was stressing me is that my mom has spent a lot of money and you remember that time joining from one lazima unge nyuma sijui mom sijui briefcase sijui what sijui what so it was a lot of money. So me at actually nilikuwa nimeplan sita mwambia ndaomba tu watu ndio wanaomba watu manguo ati nipate pesa ni nunuange vitu pole pole. But when she came tulikuwa tunafaa kwenda na every thing home from one zilikuwa mnaenda na everything home so your time for fours walikuwa nakucheck ati ah nyi mnaenda aje na mtoto kesi yote home cause zilikuwa na job from one ukiacha kitu yako hautapata kitu so mimi ndio huyo tumemaliza the ceremony closing ceremony ya uh, the last day to meet her nimebeba bag yangu vizuri sana vizuri na sukuma like a girl from nikaa nimetoka uh, airport <laughs> mama yangu akaniambia akaniambia hebu nikusaidie unajua bado ukiwa ka form 1 una bembele zangu eh hey, shule imekuwa aje nini nikamwambia poa akaniambia hebu ngoja hii bag yako iko na nini nikamwambia hakuna ati hakuna na unaenda wapi na hii bag nikamwambia mama Ma nini? Anamwambia, "Mam, aki wacha kushia, utaki watu wananiangalia." Nani? And then she turns. Nani anaangalia? Nani anaangalia mimi? <laughs> so I'm like, "Ah, mam, una choma, una choma." Ah, mimi sina gaibu. Aibu ni ya nini? So I explain to her everything. "Mam, this and this happen. Nini 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 nini." And then you know my mom, time yake akiwa shule, she was a school president. Akaniambia, "Ah, students, what are you doing with your life? Unajua mimi vile nilikuwa school president kitu yangu ingeibiwa." nafungua bag za kila mtu nikisach kambia mam remember ma form 1 that i don't care about that let's go to the principal's office mimi ni form 1 saki mamangu anze drama shule please please tunajua the rest of my school years itakuwa too trouble tukaenda hapo kwa ofisi atukapata receptionist ati the principal is busy ah uh-uh, she's busy where i want to see her eh ukishasikia ng'a mtu authority authority people usiende kwa gine muache juu ujui ametoka wapi na nini anaweza kupiga vibaya sana so she let my mom in tukaenda vizuri tukaka hi mama siben cousin alikuwa na job by that time cousin ni join shule late so it was easy for her to know me hi mama siben um, i'm very good mrs principal what has brought you to my office early this morning <laughs> mrs principal nimekuja kuteta i am not here because of a good cause so my principal was like what is happening nini nini imefanyika and then she, my mom told her my daughter is, is has just come to school four days ago say anarudi nyumbani bila kitu do you think that is fair principal was like um tafadhali this is mama sibel acha tutaangalia muende nyumbani kwa ah ah hakuna mambo ya kwenda nyumbani nataka mwongozo wa mtoto wangu so they bargain and bargain and, and bargain at the end of it principal akasema atanunua mashati sijui zilikuwa tatu na skirt na nini she bought a few few things for me and then my, my mom now had to buy some other things now you see uh, consequence hapo sasa she had to buy things again hiyo pesa hata ingekuwa imenipea pocket money so 
I remember this other time also when I was in Form 1 I also wanted to join drama because me I love acting, I love bringing out what I have in mind. So mimi ni meenda auditions. Manze auditions tunafanywa ni kama sisi ni mapunda shwali. Ati oh, saw India, next India. So mimi I remember I came first. Nikafika mbele au oh, no na join students. Nikafika mbele I was so scared because those guys were so rude. They don't care. Why we are going to do this? Eh? What was I remember at that time? I can hear Pierre. Eh? What are you most evil? Nico Pierre. Nika nyamaza tu. Eh? What are you doing? So I was like, ah, you guys, what else? What else? So I can be okay. Fanya can be cool. Tapa. And then you know those times they only come back. They let us know what we wear. Hey, what we name? Eh? So maybe we went to the drama auditions. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm busy. At the end, oh, you don't know what I'm saying. I'm busy. 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 I'm Luo, but iki in, in form of a song, I can sing it very well. I'm like in style, yawa ni nini naimba. So she, uh, they gave me a song, nikaimba, nikaimba vizuri, they were impressed. Alafa kaniambia ni dance. Yo pati ya kudansi, no sasei kakua mambo, vibaya. So, watu wa likuwa wengi, waka sema, kesho, mkuje kuna audition ingine. The next day, nika kuja tena audition. Siyo, hiya ya sadia, unapanya nini hapa? Mikuja ku audition tena, nime improve. Haya, tuwanyeshe kenyo kuna. So this is when you come. Hey, so those times when I was learning dance and drama, ah, ah, as you know, you know, you know, hey, so that time I was so excited, Mika Fanya. And then now the second, the the next day, Uzuri Ilikuwa, the patron of drama, was there. She was so impressed, not only because of my dancing, because my dancing was not the best, but because of my confidence. That's when I saw my confidence, and I said, "Yeah, I'm too sana." So I did my thing, Mika Imba, Mika Ongea, Mika Nini, I said, "Okay." So I try to list for the board in jail. Any one you guys will know who has joined. Guys, guess what? I form one. I think form one that time to look at only two people who managed to join drama uh, that team of drama festival, and that experience was the best. And so that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. And till next time. Till next time. Till next time. It's a wrap.